hot, hot, hot Chinese buzzwords. 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 Chinese Most handsome? Absolutely not. Anyway, I've come to check out what all the buzz is about. So here are the basics. Shongan Yuri combines Longtong, Anxin, and Songxian counties here in Hebei Province, and it's going to take some of the pressure off Beijing as certain projects unrelated to the capital will be transferred here. And as part of the Millennium Plan, Shongan is set to become the next zone of national significance after Shenzhen and Shanghai's Pudong district. And in much the same way that Shenzhen rose up from what was once formerly a fishing village, and Shanghai Pudong district developed from farmland along the east bank of the Huangpu River, Shongan New Area, around 100 kilometers away from Beijing, is set to undergo a similar but altogether different and certainly historical transformation. Now, the area has been referred to as a blank piece of paper, with the basic conditions to develop from a high starting point with high standards. It's going to be a sustainable, green, smartly planned city right next to Beijing, and it's going to be creatively driven like me. Anyway,、um, the difference between Shongan New Area and Shenzhen and Pudong District in Shanghai is that in the city planning stages, they're going to utilize knowledge and technology that wasn't previously available. For instance, a strategic cooperation agreement has already been signed with one of China's biggest tech giants, Baidu, on an AI city program that will see AI introduced into the urban planning and building of Songan New Area. Now, under such a program, traffic management could benefit from AI, transport, education, environmental protection. It could be planned in a way never planned before, benefiting from AI, big data, cloud computing, unmanned vehicles. Baidu has already started testing its unmanned vehicles on the road here in Songan with a fleet of seven. Apollo cars. Amazing. Hey, 司徒，累死了，玩没玩啊？ And as for being green, the new area is going to utilize renewable and low-carbon energy resources. And the city is not going to be a concrete jungle. There's plans for more than 70% of the area to be covered by water and trees. And that includes the renovation of Shangyang's Baiyangdian Lake. Now, have I got time for a swim? No. Can I at least go on a boat? No. And to make this a greener, more livable area, afforestation or tree planting, as you can see, taking place behind me, started at the end of 2017. And by 2030, woodland coverage of this area will surpass 40%. That's double the national average right now. Nothing. But what about getting here? Well, aside from an existing railway link, construction on an intercity line running between Beijing and Songyang New Area has already begun. It starts in Beijing's Daxin District. It runs through the new airport, which is being built, and it's going to terminate in Songyang New Area. It's going to be fully operational by 2020, and it's going to reduce travel time to around 30 minutes. So that's what all the buzz is about. It's been a year since Songyang New Area was first announced. Now, on top of all of this, there's going to be a science technology park constructed here, and China's tech giants are also getting on board with the development of the area. Alibaba plans to set up three firms here. Tencent is setting up a financial technology lab. China Telecom is trialing its 5G network services, which means there'll be no more of this. Ever again, and China is jointly setting up a financial technology hub here in the area with the UK. Oh, and I am the funniest, most handsome number one China video blogger. You're not. Now, 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 now. And and more than double. That's double. 